Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to restore single table from full database backup in MySQL server. So let's go, to, go ahead and take a look. Uh, here I have written the script. So first of all, uh, I have written the script to take the backup. Uh, so I use my SQL dump, username, then provide the password, and the name of the database is the Tech Brothers new. And then uh, we are taking the back, backup to the MySQL directory, and the file name is the Tech Brothers new. Okay. Uh, and let's uh, take this query and run the backup first and then we'll come back and uh, do some more research and uh, demo here we have a tech versus it new dot sql file already okay what this the database has uh, this database has two tables employees and manager and in, in in manager i have only one record so i have a column id and a name and then i have a value one and amir okay so think about that uh, we are gonna uh, take a we have taken the full backup uh, and now somebody went ahead and delete this uh, or deleted this uh, uh, manager table okay now this uh, tech browser's new database does not have a manager table anymore now we need to restore that manager table to the this uh, database but we don't have a separate uh, sql file for that one so we have full backup and from where we need to extract that only manager database uh, manager table information so we'll use a sid utility and uh, we'll uh, say start from the drop table and then provide the, your table name from uh, uh, let's say manager in this case uh, and then we have different uh, unlock uh, tables and all different parameters here you can uh, study said uh, utility in detail um, you have to provide uh, the source uh, uh, file path in our case it will be the backup file path uh, and then extract uh, so put that uh, information so greater than to any file name so in our case we will just put the manager.sql okay so I have uh, come, made the changes so I said I'm looking for this table called uh, manager and then uh, I'm writing uh, sorry I'm taking the information from my backup that's uh, tech versus IT uh, new dot SQL and uh, then I'm writing to the manager dot SQL so let's uh, take this query or command and run it so right now we are in my SQL uh, backup directory so you can see right there and if i will do ls minus la you see that i don't have employee table here i have full backup of tech brothers a new uh, database but i do not have a manager uh, table right here so i'm going to go ahead and uh, sorry copy run this and uh, now let's uh, check the directory and uh, you can see that uh, manager.sql is uh, created. Um, we can also view the contents of this file. So this is, let's say cat and the manager.sql and you can see this file has uh, uh, from here you have a create definition, you have create table and uh, with ID and name and then you have uh, insert statements right here. So I just kept it small so I can show you all the details in this uh, file. Okay, great. Now what we need to do, we need to uh, we have extracted this uh, table uh, as a separate table and now we can just simply restore this table to the database. Um, so we have manager.sql file there and to restore uh, you have to say mysql and uh, provide a username. In my case I'm providing username backup user. You have to provide uh, the password, the password equal to password and uh, the database name uh, in which you would like to restore this uh, table uh, and then uh, the file of uh, or def, that's the file that has uh, the manager or any table uh, what you have separated from uh, the above backup file okay so that file manager.sql let's run it okay that's completed let's go back to the database uh, refresh uh, and uh, we have a manager table right there so let's uh, select some data and we can see that the data that is also there in this manager table. So this is how you will perform the restore of single table. So first of all, from the your full backup, you have to extract that table out in a different file. And once you have it, then what you will do, you will just simply restore by using the MySQL command right here. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.